If you are on the internet frequently, uh, mainly on Tumblr, you've probably heard uh, the word trigger or the phrase trigger warning, and I want to talk about that a little bit today. I can only really speak from what I go through. Um, I'm a recovering drug addict. It's something that I deal with pretty much every day of my life. Um, so let's talk about what that means for me. When somebody says that they are triggered, it means that they've either seen something or heard something that somebody says that um, that starts their brain thinking in unhealthy ways or in ways that um, that is not good for them. For me, that can be something as simple as a picture or a video, or if I'm in real life, if I'm around somebody and they're doing something. It can be literally anything, and I honestly am really bad at predicting it. Sometimes I'm fine, other times I'm not, and I have no way of really knowing when I'm gonna be okay or when I'm not gonna be okay. And what happens to me, um, and again, I can really only speak from my experience here. Um, what happens to me is, it's almost like my brain splits into like two very distinct voices, both very loud, both very headstrong, and both very passionate about the sides that they are arguing for. On the one hand, I have the voice that I like to describe as me. This is the voice that is explaining to the other voice why um, I shouldn't use, why I shouldn't go back to that, and it's the healthy voice, the voice of reason, but it is a very loud and very angry voice a lot of the time. And then you have the other one, which is that uh, piece of me that's pretty much always gonna be there, that's gonna make me want to do whatever behavior I am triggered to do in that moment. And it becomes this internal tug of war that usually ends up in some kind of panic attack. Um, it's not a fun experience, basically. Why am I talking about this? I don't really know. I guess I'm trying to explain to some people who have never had to deal with something like that what that's like and um, because I think it is important to talk about. I think it's important to talk about. It's also therapeutic for me because like I was talking about in my last video, sometimes I'm scared to reach out because I'm scared of being a burden. I'm scared of people walking away from me because they just don't want to deal with it. But, um, but that's not healthy for me. It's not. I sometimes feel broken. Uh, I'm not broken. I just have a set of experiences, a set of things that are part of my life that are just the way that I am. It's just the way that I am. And if anybody judges me for that or treats me differently because of that, they don't deserve to have me in their life. It's like a really common cliche, but I really like it. It's if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. And that's completely true. If somebody doesn't stick by you when you need them, when you are at your worst, um, and they come back into your life when everything's okay, they're only your friend when it's convenient, and then they don't deserve you. You deserve people in your life who will step up to the plate and help you when you need it. You deserve people like that, and you probably have people like that already, and you just might not feel like it. Sometimes we just need a little reassurance from people that they care about us and that they're there for us, and, uh, and that can almost be the most powerful thing in the world. Sorry this video is an upbeat, fun or funny, I just am not really feeling upbeat, fun or funny in my life, and I wanted to make a video rather than not make a video today. So yeah. I will see you guys next time. As always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome, and I will see you guys on Friday. <laughs>